A horrific crime and a man facing charges for allegedly raping a woman on a busy SEPTA subway train. Good evening, I'm Dawn Timoney. Investigators applauding the woman for bravely coming forward about her attack, but they're also in shock that no one tried to help her. Our Seanette Wilson reports. Police are looking into whether video of the rape was posted on social media. They do say the entire incident was captured on septic cameras. Police and some riders say they're surprised no one on the train called 911. This is 35 year old Fiston Noy. The man police say raped and assaulted a woman on the market Frankfurt L. It happened Wednesday night around 10 o'clock. Now, I don't even want to get on the train. This woman, who doesn't want to be identified, is horrified after hearing what happened. I do ride the train and I ride it often, but now I think differently. The train may not be something I'm going to ride now. Investigators say a SEPTA employee reported the incident to SEPTA police, saying something wasn't right with the woman on the L. They did not say where the employee was or what exactly she saw. SEPTA then notified Upper Darby PD after the train pulled into 69th Street Terminal and SEPTA police had the suspect in custody. It's unfortunate that it happened and that it had to occur where no one actually stopped to take the time to help. Sadia Smith is talking about others who were on the train. In a statement, SEPTA police said those people witnessed the horrific act, which may had been stopped sooner if a rider had called 911. We talked to Steve Anderson outside the terminal today. We need more security. Upper Darby Police Superintendent Tim Bernhardt says the 30-year-old victim did not know her attacker. I spoke to her this afternoon. Unbelievably strong woman. Um, she, she really is. I mean, she, she came forward. She provided a lot of information and, um, you know, she, she's, she's on the mend. Hopefully she, she will get through this. Police say Noy is being held on $180,000 bail. They believe he is transient, possibly homeless. Reporting in Upper Darby, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.